what's going on guys it's your boy Matthew Balloon and I'm gonna make a video of you for you guys of me doing some plow work uh, I noticed that there's not too many videos on YouTube out there so I figured why not try to hit an algorithm and see who's gonna watch this video down the road uh, that being said I am NOT a professional plow truck driver this is my first day doing it um, I hope I don't screw up <laughs> a little nervous but you know, somebody's got to do it, right? So I'm going to take you guys along with me. I'm going to show you guys some different routes that I do. And we'll see what happens. I'm excited. So right now, this is what I see uh, from my driver's seat. Pretty good visibility. Nice little crack over there in the windshield. This isn't my normal truck, but it's all good. Normally, I'm a dump truck driver. That's what I do for a living. Right now, I'm feeling up with the, uh, the fuel at the yard. Shouldn't take too much longer and we're gonna get off onto the road and see where we head up, end up. All right, quick update. We are arrived at the PennDOT location that we have to pick up the salt. In that building, there is a huge, huge hill of salt. And uh, right now I'm just waiting in line this guy is currently getting loaded by this loader right here and I was told that once I'm done loaded there's an office building right around the corner there and they're gonna tell me what the location is to go and either sit or plow or salt one of those three things and uh, yeah, this is a learning experience for me, and hopefully you guys find this enjoyable to watch as much as I am enjoying filming it. Unfortunately, I tried to put my dash cam on the window, and it did not stick, so I guess uh, we might not have my dash cam footage, unfortunately, but uh, my phone is good enough, so we'll see what happens. Alright, so quick update, uh, I think a couple hours have passed already, I flew through my route once or twice now, but I have an issue where my salt spreader is not working correctly, so my mechanic is on his way here to go help me fix it, and get me back on the road, and hopefully keep more people safe uh, with plowing and everything, so this is what they gave me, like the whole ass map of the area. I only have like a tiny, tiny portion of that map, but man, this shit <laughs> it is not for beginners. Like, let's just put it that way. Yeah, you might be making good money, but so far, <laughs> it's nerve wracking because I'm like, oh, am I going to slide off the freaking road and die and roll over? Um, so, yeah, it's, I don't know. <laughs> it's been a little scary lately, but hopefully, we'll get through the night together safely. first snow plowing job alive, but yeah, I came with some consequences. Well, you might, you might ask, what are the consequences? Well, 
Let me cut the video and I'll show you in a second. I don't know how deep this snow is, but it's pretty deep. Regardless, they didn't freaking plow the only driveway to get into our shop. So, you guessed it, I'm stuck. Anytime I move forward, I inch closer to that damn telephone pole. So, gotta wait for the mechanic to come out and drive the skid steer to pull me out and then plow the rest of this road. Oh, I don't, I don't recommend snow plowing to anybody. Unless you're a seasoned veteran or are willing to risk your life. Not worth it to me. End of story. End of video.